I'm worried. My child finds it difficult to pass stools. The issue that you're facing with your child's digestive system is quite common. Children find it often quite difficult to pass stools, which causes inconsistent poo. What does inconsistent poo really mean? When the child's poo is not regular or looks different, that is inconsistent poo. Here is a Bristol chart. Hard lumpy stools mean that the child is finding it difficult to pass stools, while light mushy to liquid stools suggest there is an inflammation. Do I only keep a track of what the poo looks like? Or are there any behavioural symptoms I should look into? Apart from noticing your child's inconsistent stool, they may be cranky, irritable, not willing to eat, they may have bloating, not passing gas, they might be hiding somewhere and not willing to come out. Is there a relation between him not being able to pass stools and the way he behaves around that time? There is a deep connect between a child's psychology and physiology. Psychology is what is bothering the child mentally and makes him cranky, while physiology is the physical discomfort or pain that he goes through. Hence you wonder why most of the time what is bothering your child. It could be more physiology than psychology. How do I identify when to take action and steps? When you see such symptoms for more than three days, that's the time to take action. Have a look into your child's diet or consult a doctor. Are there any precautionary measures that I should take to improve my child's poo? Make sure your child drinks sufficient water, eats healthy, nutritious and fibrous food at regular intervals and gets proper sleep. Soluble and insoluble fibre enriched food items like carrots, spinach and pumpkin support the digestive system well. Once everything is on track, your happy and playful child will never be cranky again. These are the most common questions I get to hear from mothers. Share and create more awareness for your child's health.